guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Totally stoked to bring you this new Pearl Jam lesson. But first, I'd like to tell you real quick about Guitar Crate. They're an amazing subscription service that sends you a box of awesome guitar essentials every month. They deliver things like picks, strings, slides, tuners, cleaners, and other swag right to your door. So check out the link in the description for more info, and you can watch me opening my first Guitar Crate in the video right there. All right, let's get to the lesson. All right, I'm gonna break down Stone Gossard's playing on this song. We're gonna do an open D tuning, which adds some really cool little characteristics in here. Uh, the open D tuning is D, A, D, F sharp, A, and then D. And that allows us to do a one finger major chord. That kind of thing. Now let's get into the top of the song. We're go going up around the 15th fret. Let's, let's call it the 15th fret. Pick it and slide down. Next, the riff. We're gonna uh, call it three up to seven, a slide. Open A string. Third fret A string. Back to open, sometimes it's a pull off. And a quick little A, then three, hammered up to five. There's a little bit of palm muting in there too, you add that. Palm muting is in a little bit of the meat of your right hand in there. Next, we have the open uh, D because it's been tuned down. And we have. And so that's open, then six, five, three, open. So from the top. Next we have, and we're doing a 5-3 on the A, 6-5-3, open, then 3-5, so, followed by a little 3 on the A, to that lick. So from the top. So next, we go into this. So what happens is it does that three seven slide then it does it again into the lick. So this is kind of a new way. He also plays the verse this way, so. So check it out. Uh. Then before the singing comes in, we got another up slide. And I was listening to the live version. It sounded like the uh, 13th fret. It's all very fast slide, so. I think it's the 13th there before the verse. Then you have the verse, which uh, we just did, which is. Uh, so it just repeats that wank, go wank, a dunk. Just like that, right? So the next few parts. We don't have to learn anything new, we just kind of put some pieces together. So on the verse, 
you can get some open open D's in there. So some of those open D's with that three to seven slide. Just like that. Then, so you're playing those verses. There's a time where he breaks up that first verse with another. With a little up slide, like that. Then, at the end of the verse, you have the lick again. So, you have the end of the verse with the lick. This thing again. Then the lick. Because of that open tuning, you can strum the whole thing. And so now for the chorus, you can cover the whole 12th fret. And then when you get to the next one, which is the eighth fret. You can bar across that whole thing and we're really trying to emphasize this little double fingering here on the 10th of what we would call the, yeah, the A and the D. Off and then, you know, on then off, so. And then that wah, wah, cool little lick, these two fingers scoot over just to the uh, D and G, which has been tuned down to F sharp. That's why that works. Then we go 12 to 10. Now there's some little things I'll show you in a second, but you've got some chugs like. Then 12, 12, 10. Right back in. All the way through that form. All right, before the solo, and then also later. So. across the 12th fret is going to be the chord so you can do little pieces of it then you have the soloing over that and sometimes he's going to do 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 you know, just little um, support, support for the soloists. Good job. <laughs> um, and then you've got all the the parts 
already exists now because that's the soloing and then you know it, it breaks down and then it goes into that chorus <laughs> Guitar number two, Mike McCready, standard tuning. You can slide from the three to the seven on the D string. And so we've got this little double stop on the fifth fret of the G and B. And then up a whole step. So then open D and then six, five, three, O. Oh. That other lick is going to be the seven five on the G, then six five on the D, then three, then O, three five O. So from the top, you actually will double up on that slide up at the fifteenth fret. <laughs> Then on the verses, pretty much that same idea. There's not playing, maybe some percussiveness, but it, the during the verse it's. And then finally, Then you've got the chorus, and it's it's based on this D major chord, but you're playing the 11th fret of the G, then 12 of the D, then 10, then down to 8. Thoughts arrive like... And you just simply go 11... 12, 10. So the first one is 11, 12, 10, 8. Thoughts arrive like. Same idea that we were doing with the other one. You have this little lick here, which is a half step bend on the ninth fret G released to the seven. Get in, get away. And so that's all the, you know, the, the basic riffage that's going on with Mike McCready. Um, then there's obviously a solo and there's some fill licks, um, which is all in that D minor pentatonic. All right, I got a little wah-wah. 
And if you're in the D minor pentatonic, you do a whole step bend on the 12 of the G. So we're just doing a bend up and then releasing to the 10. So. So we're doing a wah, wah, and then 12, pull off to 10 on the G, to 12 on the D. And then we're hitting that root, which could be 15 on the B. Then we have the super sweet rock star band, which would be fifth, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, 15 high E. right there in that sweet spot. That whole step thing right there. So that's the lick. You got the 12 fret G whole step bend, 10 on the B, 10 on the high E, back to 10 on the B, whole step bend on 13 B. Very Hendrixy right there. So two bends on that 13. Then we go work down to the 12. Bend, back down, pull off, back to 12. 10. Double, two notes on the 12 of the D and then back to that 10 of the G. All right, that was with the wah pedal, but the camera angle's off from the wah pedal. But basically, legal hall's a shame. So the last lick there, with a wow 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 you're right in that minor pentatonic 10 on the g up to pentatonic you get up to that 13 of the high e 13 big bend 10 of the high e bend the 13 up to it You also have And so that's just the same thing as the other part uh, I mean the guitar one But just on the D string 10 11, 12. Then you've got this little bluesy thing, 10th fret G and B. Then you have back to the lick, and there's just that extra thing. And it's just up that seven up to nine on the G. Right back into it. And then lots of soloing, which would have to be for its own video. So let me know in the comments. And that should get you through just about everything. You've got the ending. 